Watch you guys, got another video. Every Windows user should change this setting. Now we all know that malware and scammers will send emails out just like these ones where they're trying to trick you into uh, engaging with them. Once you engage with them or respond to these sort of emails, they will then send you another email with an attachment with it, uh, with a contract or something like that. And it's normally contains a red line stealer, which is malware. And these will basically uh, allow them to collect data from you. And this is really dangerous because once you log into a site or something like that, it can collect all of your login details and things like that. Just like what happened to Linus Tech Tips when his YouTube channel uh, basically got hacked. This is what they responded to was one of these uh, emails. I've made a video on this before, but this video is about something different, which I wanted to bring to your attention. These scam emails are targeting YouTubers and other people like that so they can gain access to their account. And sometimes they even uh, want to gain access to their banking details and things like that. So you've got to be very, very careful when you're responding to emails like these because they are phishing emails that are trying to uh, get you to respond to them. And basically, they, they offer great rewards for you to respond to them. And basically, what they are is cyber criminals that will send, say, malware or some sort of ransomware or some other nasty file for you to click on. And then basically, you are done for. So what we're going to do is take a look at all of this in this video. But first, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. Create an account and use my promo code, capital B, capital R09, and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all of your purchases. Once you've done that, they will send you your product and basically you can use that to remove that annoying watermark on your computer. Anyway, let's get back to the tutorial. So in my inbox, I get flooded with loads of phishing emails every single day with people trying to lure me into responding to them so they can send me an attachment file for some sort of big contract uh, that I'm going to be working with a big major company for a large sum of money, just like this one, where it's up to $15,000. You know you're not going to be earning that sort of money with these sorts of people, and it's just to try and get you to engage with them and what they want you to do is then open that attachment. And then once you do that, you are then infected. And it's a scam, basically. So you don't want to fall for these particular types of scams. So one of the things you can do to prevent a lot of this sort of stuff is on Windows, when you see files on your computer, it's very hard to see the extensions because they don't enable this by default. And I really do get annoyed with Microsoft by not allowing this to be enabled by default because it probably ruins the look of the actual file name. But with this one simple setting, you'll be able to enable it and see that the extensions of that file, so you know not to click on it. It would say .pdf file, .exe file, .mp4 file, .gif, or .uh, whatever it is that you're looking at, it will tell you exactly what that file is. If you right click and go to properties, it will tell you roughly what that file name is. But malware is getting more clever by changing the images and logos of their files so it can trick you into thinking it's a PDF file when really it's a, a .exe file or a .scr file, which actually when you click on it will open up and it will activate. So you've got to be very, very careful. Now, the simple solution to this is just to enable the option inside folder options here. Go to view and just remove the check mark saying hide extensions for known file types. This is really important because this will then tell you what that particular file is before you click on it. And of course, what they can do is change the actual uh, thumbnail of the file so it can trick you into thinking that these files are safe to click on because it's a PDF file when really it's not. It may be a .exe file or a .scr file or something like that, which contains the actual redline stealer malware inside there. Now, obviously, you would need an antivirus program to scan your computer, but some of these new malware that are being released every single day are not being detected by all antivirus programs, and you have to be super careful what you're clicking on. So this is a good line of defense uh, or one sort of layer of defense that you can do by just enabling this one simple uh, feature here. If you look at these files here, these are all malware. These are all nasty red line stealers and other malware on the computer. And by looking at them, you can see a work document there saying contract. And basically, if I clicked on this now, this could be ransomware or red line stealer, and you could end up being infected. This is how simple it is to get infected 
in 2023 by downloading files. And you can see uh, it does give me some information here about the actual file, but they've changed the actual logo uh, of the actual image file, thinking it's a Word document, when really it's not a Word document, it's an actual executable file. So if we go to folder options here and then go back to view and turn this back on, you will see uh, when I do the check mark here and remove it, by default it's on. Once you do this, you will then see that it is an actual executable file. So it's not an actual Word document, it's an executable file. And you go clicking on these things, and next thing you know, you're going to get infected. It's the same thing for PDF files. You might have a little icon there saying it's a PDF file. When it's not a PDF file, it's an actual SCR file or a .exe file. And next thing you know, you click on it and you're infected. It's that simple. This is how easy it is to get infected on a Windows-based system, all because you don't have the extension there. When you click on these, you might see something looking like this, which makes you think that it's to do with Windows, when really it's actually a, a, a scamming sort of site, which will open up a window and it will tell you your computer's got problems and you need to call a number on the screen. This one has actually been deactivated now, but if I did run this when it was active, your screen would then go blue and it would make you look like you're having issues with your computer and it will ask you to call a number. And of course, this is all a scam. And this is one of these uh, tech support scam sort of applications that they buy on the uh, dark web and then they put them up on the internet and people click on them and they fall for it. This is a backup uh, sort of application here. So let me go ahead and close all of this off, off here and we can then go ahead and I'll download some uh, software and we'll run a scan on those files and you'll see exactly what these files are. So showing file extensions is a really important part for using your computer, especially with uh, tricksters out there making malware and making uh, sort of ransomware that has a logo on it. And at first glance, if you're looking at it like this, you could quite easily click on that file thinking it's a Word document. And next thing you know, you could be infected. It can encrypt all your data or even worse still have access to your browser information. And then you go logging into your bank or your YouTube account and they will steal all your information. So once you start scanning with malware uh, scanning software, you can see these files are being detected straight away and they will be removed from the computer. So you've got to be super careful. And if you don't have the file extensions for known file types uh, turned on so you can see the extension for that file, uh, then you could be in big trouble. You could go clicking on these files and, and malware creators have been using this technique for many, many years. And I don't know why. Uh, you know, Microsoft don't leave that enabled by default, so you can actually see the file extension on there. By default, it's turned off, but a lot of people will fall foul to this and see a Word document or a PDF file or a JPEG file or something like that, and they'll go clicking on it, and next thing you know, they're going to get infected. Sometimes uh, malware creators don't go through the trouble of adding images and things like that. But if they're trying to convince you that the file that you're going to be clicking on, especially in your email box, uh, is an attachment there, which is a contract and it's a PDF file, when really it's a SCR file or maybe a .exe file or something like that, uh, you go clicking on it thinking it is actually a contract and guess what happens? It opens and it executes and you're in a world of trouble. So be very, very careful. And this is why I tell people that you always need some sort of good antivirus program running in the background, and hopefully it will detect a lot of this stuff before it gets onto your computer. If you're doing a lot of emails on your computer, you should have some sort of mal, uh, malware scanner uh, scanning your inbox for your emails as they come down. That way you have a good chance of detecting all of this nasty stuff before it actually has a chance to inject itself onto the computer. So be very, very careful on what you're clicking on and definitely change that one setting. I don't know why Microsoft have never made this by default to have it enabled so you can see file extensions, but who knows, this is Microsoft at the end of the day. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just a quick one today. I shall catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.